what's up youtube welcome to the video so in the previous tutorials we learned how to get firebase data inside an html table and style the table with bootstrap then in the next video we build functionality so we could perform crud operations with the table and now we are adding search functionality to the table but unfortunately firebase does not provide any search functionality so we must do it with javascript so let's just get right into it so first of all let's add a container div and inside it we will add a raw and some column classes within it so column 9 this will have an input and let's give it a class form control and an id search bar let's also keep a placeholder search here now the rest of in the rest of the column we can add column 1 for the button which will search the whatever is written in the search bar so we need to give it classes of button button primary and that's it and let's also give it an id of search button so let's make this 11 and this one so now let's see how it looks like so we need to add a little margin top margin top 3 now let's add the search functionality so now first thing that we need is we need to create a variable filtered rows and we need to get the references of then we need to create a new function which will be the copy of this function add all records and what we will change is first the name will be filter records then we will make the filter draws equals to first we will get the employee list then we will use the filter function and each of the employee which is uh, which we are representing with an e will be checked that if e dot cnic dot to string dot includes and we need the search bar value so for that let's create a variable search value which will get the value from the search bar and two lower case dot trim so this will trim the white spaces uh, uh, from the start and the end we can also use this function over here so i am using these many functions because for example if the cnic is a number then this code will break so i am first converting it to a string that's me being cautious and then i am trimming the space so if there are any white spaces ignore them and we also need two lower functions so that our search becomes case insensitive then what we will do is we will use the filtered rows and add all of the records within the table one thing that is necessary is when we add all records the filtered rows must be must get 
we said so whenever we are uh, we are adding all records the filter concept of filter draws will get reset now we can use this function on the search bar search button when it's clicked it will call this function let's check this out if i search for 56 i am getting filtered rows if i remove this 56 the table stays the same we need to change that so we will create another function if the search bar dot value dot length is less than 1 then add all records so it will add all of the records and this function will also make the filter draws empty so it will reset our application we can create another function like this and name it search enter which will take an event and key code for enter which is 13 it will filter the record now we can add both of these functions to the search bar when input changes then check for search empty and whenever a key is pressed then check for search enter so now let's search for uh, 22 22 press enter so my records get filtered when i remove backspace backspace so my table is restored back to its original state now one thing uh, that we need to do is if you have these buttons then there is a problem if you search for a record click edit then the original information of the first record is showing so what you need to do is you need to come over here and check if the filter draws have any length so if we have the filter on its length will be greater than zero then select filter draws for the edit and delete data otherwise select the entire employee list so we will do it for all of these now when we search for any record click edit then that record will open update you can see that the record is updated now if you want to search within all of the uh, columns not just the cnic then what you can do is you can add an or statement and then now the uh, now the search bar will search within all of the columns so let's say i'm searching for firebase v10 so the record is getting search if i'm searching for uh, the amount of salary which has three ones then you can see that these salaries are being fetched and we have the three ones in the cnic so this record is also getting fetched so it is searching within all of the 
columns. Now, if you want to search by category, then we need to add a select over here. So, let's make it 9 and give it, give this select a column of 2. So, we have this select. We have given it a bootstrap class and a N1 ID. So now, we can add the reference of search category here. Then we need to create a new function and inside this, so we need the same thing, the search value and then If search category dot value is equal equals to CNIC, then filtered rows will get equals to this and if the category is not selected, then we will filter, we will search for the record in all of the categories. Now, we will copy the rest of the filter records function. So, records get added to the table. Now, we will replace this function with filter record and also over here when pressing enter. Now, let's check this out. Refresh. So, if I search for this, then it's getting searched because I haven't selected any category. So, even if I search anything, it will get searched. But if I select a category, let's say name or CNIC, then this record won't get searched because this record exists in the email category. So now I can search code words within the employee name. So now it's getting searched only in the employee name. So this is how you can also put a category uh, in the search functionality. So this is all for the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. See you next time.